hello and welcome to Katrina Clutter Free. We're going to be doing a tour of the kitchen today. I'm going to be, this is my next project. A lot of the cabinets are staying the same, so I'm going to show you how they're set up. And then there's some cabinets that are going to be changed around, definitely. So we're going to, I'm going to give you the brief going through all the cabinets, showing you which ones are staying the same, which ones are going to be changing, and we'll go from there. So let me get the camera turned around and I'll show you a tour of my kitchen. So here is overall what it looks like. It kind of goes around here over to there. So those are all my cabinets and for this size kitchen I do not have a pantry which kind of stinks but I've had to make these cabinets over here, 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 and here as my pantry. So let's go through and I will give you the grand tour of what it looks like. This first cabinet needs major help. It's empty at the top. This is where my cookbooks used to stay and the magazine boxes that are there, I used to throw my um, cookbooks in the magazine boxes so they would stand upright. Otherwise I would pull one out and they would all tip sideways and then it was hard because I'm short to reach up to that top and get it all straightened out. But my cookbooks have now been moved over to the hutch on the bottom shelf. So I have this shelf free and then this little teeny shelf right here. This is in between two shelves. This is where I have my telephone books and like our church directory and stuff like that. That's going to get rearranged. And then we have our little pharmacy down here. That needs some work because I also have some more things sitting down there. So yes, this, this is going to be one of the cabinets that I'm going to work on first. Now there's a set of four drawers here. The three top drawers I'm not changing and I'll show you what's in them. The first one, I forget where I ordered this, but it's just a knife block that sits in your drawer. And then I have trivets. And then in this little container, I have things that are cutters like kitchen scissors, um, peeler, uh, pizza cutter. There's two different can openers in here. I do have a backup one in case one would not work. And then these are utensils that I don't use all that often, but I do use them like a little mini grater and ladles and like a little, the potato masher, a small little gravy ladle and another grater. I do use them, but not that often. And then these are for sharpening knives are in here. And then this cabinet, this one is going to get some work done to it. This is just all my tea towels and stuff. And it's not horrible, but it could be much better. So I'm going to be fooling with this one a little bit. This drawer I'm not touching. This is my, quote, good silverware. It's also stainless steel. I don't have silver silverware. So it's Oneidas um, stainless steel. So I keep it in here. We use that when we have fancier dinners, which isn't very often. Um, and then I have salt and pepper shakers that go to that. These are kind of neat. They're tarnished. They're silver plated, but they look like little Christmas balls. Um, so those are yeah, salt and pepper shakers. And then we have serving ware. These are napkin rings that were given to us by my um, one of my relatives for our 25th anniversary. And then these are our tools for barbecuing because right over here, this goes out to our back patio and we have a grill out there. So that sits there. And yes, my trash needs to get taken out. And then we have um, like the long matches and stuff here. So this drawer is not getting touched. Then we have this drawer, which is also going to get touched. It is a deep drawer, and this is where I had some of my like things for leftover. So there's, I was trying to transition away from some of my glass or some of my plasticware to glassware. I'm kind of in between. I have a little bit of each, and yeah, this this just needs some reorganizing. So, but it's what I use for leftovers and stuff. And it is a deeper drawer, as you can see. So, then we come to the stove. Over top of the microwave, I'm not, I can't even reach there. Um, the only thing I keep up there is a stock pot. So, that will stay the same. This cabinet here is going to stay the same. 
it just has some of my bigger glass things like when I make lasagna or a big sheet cake it goes there I don't use it that often so it's up top but I use these when I make freezer meals um, or leftovers and stuff and they have lids these all have lids and that's the casserole carrier there and then this is syrup because Dave has to use sugar-free syrup and then I have um, some of the lids to some of these items are over here I have a turntable with different oils like soy sauce and stuff like that and like Pam spray that type of stuff so that is what is in there and so I'm not gonna be changing it and I also put hooks on the inside of my doors and that's where I keep my hot pads because of course the stove is right there and this this container here that has all of the utensils I use like all the time the uh, spice rack right here Dave actually gave to me move this this is empty I need to throw it out um, Dave gave that to me on our first Christmas together when we were first well our first Christmas as a married couple so I've emptied those are not the original spices um, although my mother had one like this and she had spices that were literally 50 years old yeah antique spices so she did get rid of those but those are the spices that I use and then we have down below here there's a cabinet and a drawer so the drawer I won't be doing anything with this is it looks messy but it really isn't this is this is my spices that I filled that up with and some of them are just too big to fill into that spice rack so this is like the extra stuff and then right here I have some of my loose teas uh, salt and pepper that I use when I'm cooking and yeah so I have a little tea thing so that just sits right here and I have a spoon rest if I'm going to use it and then this is Dave's low sodium salt so if I'm cooking and I add salt for something for him that's where that is here I just finished saying it was not too bad and I just had problems shutting the door it just needs to be straightened up but it's going to stay the same then down here, I'm very blessed with the cabinets we have. We did not pay for upgraded cabinets, but these are the cabinets we got. So all of the top shelves roll out. So those are my pots and pans. I'm not doing anything with those. And then the bottom one does not roll out. However, I found plate or these um, trays from Ikea and they have a little handle. They fit perfect in here and I just pull that out and I have my big frying pans here. I have an oversized cutting board. So I can actually just pull it out like that. Fits in there perfect and does the job. Now we come to some major organiza organization. This cabinet was added later. My husband got this one and the one over here because it just seemed like such a wasted space that I could use for storage. And then he actually was able to match the finish on it so you would never know that they were not original but those were added after we'd lived here about a year or so these two cabinets need some major organization and I'll show you why the top is no big problem the top shelf is stuff I hardly ever use it's a cake stand with a lid and a punch bowl then we have this mess which there are some plastic chargers here that you stick underneath your uh, plates to make it look all fancy. They're plastic, but they look like pewter. And then I have, I don't know what all in, up in there. It looks like I have some cups up here. I have some random napkins. These are placemats, tea that wouldn't fit down in this disaster. This is some of my tea. Now I absolutely love tea and I drink a lot of tea. And I also use the artificial sweeteners. And it is just randomly stuffed in here. So that needs to be straightened out. But now we come to this. It's closed for a reason because there's the mess in here. This is also tea and some of Dave's coffee, like coffee creamers and things. Everything is just crammed in here. And yeah, I keep it closed so nobody sees it. So I have a spatter guard here for the microwave and it just needs some major major reorganizing I'm thinking some of the overflow tea might go where I used to keep the cookbooks but yeah that's that's my disaster there so we're gonna close that and pretend it is not in existence until I get it straightened up 
Then I'm also very blessed to have a Lazy Susan on this side and a Lazy Susan on this side. So this Lazy Susan I'm not doing anything with. What is in here? And they all turn. These are like small appliances like an electric frying pan. I have a big like a wok cooker here. Um, there's a waffle iron. I have a colander here that I very rarely use. I have a little um, mini food processor. So that's what's on that side. And then this one has, I'm using my foot here, that, there's the waffle iron and a smoothie maker and two crock pots. One's big, one's small. One, the small one Dave and I tend to use and if I'm going to like a church get together or something I use the bigger one or the family's coming over. So nothing's being done there. Then over here, these also will not be changed because this is right next to the sink. And I have, we keep our drinking glasses here. We have much more drinking glasses than that, but they're in the dishwasher, which is right below here. Because it makes the most sense if I'm emptying the dishwasher to keep close to the dishwasher the things I put away. So as a, as a result, you know, the things that you use all the time. So I have my drinking glasses, we have mugs across there, we have small uh, glasses, there's the plastic cups the grandkids use, and like I said, the second shelf is all mugs. The top shelf has some goblets that we use once in a while. My parents gave those to us on our first anniversary. So they're 40, 40 years old, we just celebrated our 41st anniversary. So they're 40 years old. Um, they're not like crystal or anything like that, but we bring them out when I bring out the good china and then I keep travel mugs up on the top shelf for the most part. So that is that shelf and I'm not gonna be doing anything with it. And it just makes sense to have the water glasses next to the water. It's also easiest when you're emptying the dishwasher to be able to put it right up here. Then we come to the sink and I have two dishes I need to wash. And underneath the sink, I also won't be doing anything to, because I just recently redid it. So over on this side, I have a little drawer. I have spare paper towels. This slides out, and that's got my dish cloths in it. And behind that are the little dish um, soapy things. And then this slides out, and that has like SOS pads and um, garbage disposal cleaner, that type of thing. Over here is some just kitchen cleaners and soap and stuff and then I have there's the garbage disposal and then I have a large like 12 cup coffee pot that sits back there for when company comes over because I don't drink coffee only Dave drinks coffee so most of the time we use a little four cup but I have the big one underneath there for when company comes Then this cabinet, which is right next to the sink, again, these are the dishes I use all the time, so this one is not gonna get reorganized either. But this is my Falls Craft dishes, which we use for every day, but we also use these for every day, which are um, Corel Wear. I like the weight and the look of these, but I really love my Falls Craft. I'll show you what they look like. Those are my Falls Craft. I like them. There's only one problem. They are extremely heavy. And they are made uh, locally. The factory that makes Falls Craft is in York, Pennsylvania, which is up the road about half hour, 40 minutes away. So the, the cups and stuff that I don't use very often, like cups and saucers, the corn, those are for putting corn on the cob, and these bigger casserole dishes, they're on the top shelf because I don't use them as often. The same with these. These are your smaller, um, uh, like bread plates and stuff. And the bowls and sugar bowl, we don't use regular sugar, so it just sits up there for when company comes over. And then I have some deep bowls that I just picked up at Dollar Tree. But the dishes we use all the time, like the sandwich size and the regular dinner dishes, they sit on that shelf. And again, it's because it's close to the dishwasher. So that shelf I will not be, or that cabinet I won't be touching. Down here, 
This again is near the dishwasher, near the sink. Won't be touching this one. Uh, these are just, there's my wrappers, which get stuck in the side and along the back, but this is just our silverware drawer. So it won't be being touched. This drawer will be. I have this mess on the bottom shelf that needs to be incorporated into that other drawer with all the things for leftovers. These are plastic tubs and stuff for storing things in the freezer. And then this shelf here is for lunchbox stuff. And right now our lunch boxes are sitting on the counter and I'd like to get those put away. Now we're at the other side of where that corner cabinet is. Here's the other one. Here's the one on this side. This is the serving dishes to my china. And then this top up here are some, this is like depression glass. They're salad plates and some uh, like a relish tray and things that were my grandmother's. So I do use them once in a while, but they're up top because I don't use them as often. So nothing there is going to get touched. Nothing here is going to get touched either. This is where I put my toaster. And then on top of it, I have one of these. It's, it's actually a bed tray, um, like if you're eating food in bread. But stored above that are the tins and things that will fit in the toaster oven. And a lot of times if it's just like, if I'm just doing a couple of pork chops instead of heating the oven up, I just use the toaster oven. So it stays in there because I don't really like to have appliances out too much. So that's where that lives. Then this Lazy Susan I also won't be touching, but this is all the serving ware to the false craft. And you can see I have a lot of false craft. There's some there. Uh, again, I will use my feet. There is some here. That is all several different trays. And a loaf pan. Now, I did not buy most of this new because the Yorktown pattern of Falls Craft is the most popular one. It's been around the longest. Um, I think it was one of their first patterns. They still sell it. You find them at yard sales and secondhand places all the time super cheap so that's where I have gotten a lot of it that's why I have so much of it um, I've bought very very little of it brand new uh, most of it like I said has come from secondhand stores or flea markets or yard sales things like that now we come to what I use as my pantry which are these two cabinets and the bottom two cabinets here. The, the drawer here is baking supplies and it needs a little bit of help. It's not horrible, but it, it could be organized a little bit better. So this will be one of the drawers I work on. The pantry is really not bad. It needs a few tweaks, but I probably will not show it because there's only a few things I would move. Things I don't use all the time like extra supplies, like if I have a second bottle of like cocktail sauce, because Dave likes shrimp, um, so sometimes we'll have more than one bottle of the cocktail sauce for it. Um, I'll put the, the duplicates up top here, and then we have some popcorn up there, and I have extra taco shells. Anything that's like a duplicate goes up here. Then this little basket here is, it carries all the little sample things, or the, like when you go to a restaurant and they give you a, the little packets of sweet and sour sauce, I mean, or duck sauce or the soy sauce, um, RB sauce, things like that, that goes up there. This container right here carries like the powdered mixes, like for gravy and uh, stuff like that. So it's mostly like gravy mixes, taco mixes, things there. That's pasta. This is, this container here has ramen noodles in it. And there's some pasta sauce. Talk about, uh, uh, cocktail sauce there's some right next to the mayonnaise that's extra that actually should go on the top shelf there but I couldn't reach it uh, this container here has oatmeal in it like instant oatmeal these two are one of the only things I will be getting rid of or re rearranging or doing something different with them because we drink slim fast for breakfast we used to have cereal so one of these is for cereal and one of them was for pretzels and stuff 
Uh, we don't use it that much, so I might redo those. Then I have two containers back here. One has rice, one has instant mashed potatoes. That's my bottle. My thing is slim fast there's Dave's because I like the chocolate, he likes vanilla. This container here, I have like packaged uh, mixes like macaroni and cheese, um, like instant potatoes that are flavored. These instant potatoes are not. Um, so those sit there, there's some split pea mix. Our soups and things are here. Canned vegetables here and more canned soups and things are here. So that is how that top shelf is set up. Now the bottom part of the pantry, this part here, let me open this up. We need to go grocery shopping, but like granola bars and things go in here. Uh, Dave likes to chew gum, that goes in here. If we have some nuts, those are some cashews. Um, these are some little tostadas, so you know, like nuts, snacky type of things go in here. And then here I have a basket that just fits perfectly. And I think I got this at Ross, something like that. I think I got it at Ross, but that's just, we just went to the Snyder's outlet, Snyder's potato chip outlet. And uh, you can get stuff super cheap. So we go once or once in a while and we'll stock up. I think we spent um, 10 or $11 maybe and got all of this. I mean, like some of these little packs of potato chips are 10 cents a piece. And they had like these, the little, this, they had these for 50 cents a piece. So we get some really good deals. So we stock up and those go in there. Then over here, these are baking supplies. This is my flour, my sugar, and brown sugar. And this is some flavorings. And then back behind here, there's powdered sugar underneath here and a little um, sifter, cinnamon sugar, you know, things like that. And then I have measuring cup and my food coloring, which I use for dyeing. Here's another one of those Ikea trays that I can just grab and pull out. I have some extra pasta. I have some extra pasta here that wouldn't fit up on the shelf because they were too tall and I didn't have room at the time. Uh, we're having a potluck at church and I'm making a chocolate pudding pie. So any of my baking mixes and stuff would go here. Like there's a shoe fly pie mix. Um, you know, any of your like cake mixes, stuff like that I put down here. Then we come to the refrigerator and the only other cabinet and it does need to have a little teeny bit of work. I just can't reach it. So um, up here, I keep pie plates. I have a bunt pan, um, the cookie cutter that I use only at Christmas time on occasion, and the tins that I store the Christmas cookies in. That's pretty much what's up on those shelves. So they don't get accessed very often. And yeah. So that is my tour of the kitchen. I hope you come along with me as I go through cabinet, the, the cabinets that I'm going to be reorganizing and we get to do this together. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time when we get started.